Hey, Evan. Look what I've got. I forgot to do it last night. I can't believe it. I got back here and people were calling me and I was talking to people and anyway, it got busy. But I have another chapter of Frog and Toad. So this is called A List. One morning, Toad sat in bed. I have many things to do, he said. I'll write them down on a list so that I can remember all of them. Toad wrote on a piece of paper, a list of things to do today. And then he wrote, wake up. I've done that, said Toad. So he crossed it off. Isn't that sort of silly? There he is. Then Toad wrote down the other things on the paper. A list of things to do today. Wake up, which he already crossed off. Eat breakfast, get dressed, go to Frog's house, take a walk with Frog, eat lunch, take a nap, play games with Frog, eat supper, and go to sleep. There, said Toad. Now my day's all written down. So he got out of bed and had something to eat. And then Toad crossed out, eat breakfast. See, there's his list. Oh, it's all backwards for you. And there he is. He's eating his breakfast. He ate his breakfast. Now he's crossing eat breakfast off his list. So Toad's being sort of funny. Toad took his clothes out of the closet and put them on. And then he crossed off get dressed. Toad put the list in his pocket. He opened the door and walked out into the morning. Soon Toad was at Frog's door. He took the list from his pocket and he crossed out Go to Frog's house. So see, there he is getting his clothes out of his closet. And he's going out his door and walking to Frog's door. Okay, put that back in there. Toad knocked at the door. Hello, said Frog. Look at my list of things to do, said Toad. Oh, said Frog, that's very nice. Toad said, my list tells me that we will go for a walk. All right, said Frog, I'm ready. And there he is. All right. Frog and Toad went on a long walk. Then Toad took the list from his pocket again and he crossed out. Take a walk with Frog. Just then there was a strong wind. It blew the li list right out of Toad's hand. The list blew up high into the air. Oh, help, cried Toad. My list is blowing away. What will I do without my list? Look at him. Oh no, he looks so worried. What's going to happen? Hurry, said Frog. We'll run and catch it. No, shouted, to shouted Toad. I can't do that. Why not, asked Frog. Because, wailed Toad, running after my list is not one of the things I wrote down on my list of things to do. Oh my gosh. Frog ran after the list. He ran over hills and swamps, but the list blew on and on. At last, Frog came to Toad. Oh, oh I'm sorry, guessed Frog, but I couldn't catch up to your list. Blah, said Toad. So there's the first picture. Frog goes running after the list. Toad's standing there all worried. And now here comes Frog back saying, I'm sorry I couldn't catch your list. I can't remember any of the things that were on my list of things to do. Oh, I'll just have to sit here and do nothing, said Toad. Toad sat and did nothing. And Frog sat with him. After a long time, Frog said, Toad, it's getting dark. We should be going to sleep now. Go to sleep, shouted Toad. That was the last thing on my list. Toad wrote on the ground with a stick, go to sleep. And then he crossed out, go to sleep. There, said Toad. Now my day is all crossed out. Oh, I'm glad, said Frog. Then Frog and Toad went right to sleep. So there they are sitting on their rock and there they are sound asleep. Is that so silly that you don't have to wait for your list to tell you to go to sleep? 
<laughs> Do you think that was funny? I thought that was very funny. Well, good night, my boy. I love you. And I will talk to you later. I'm going to read another one right now. And so I'll post that one after this one.